Jerusalem in Stoke-on-Trent was once a bustling and prosperous town known for its thriving pottery industry. But today tells a different story. Almost a third of shops are lying empty and it's recently been named as Britain's emptiest high street. Very upsetting to see that nothing's opening and building. There no money being spent on the place. Just keeps getting worse and worse. Now, residents like 73-year-old June Cartwright, or Mrs. Burslem, as she's known in the town, are keen to put Burslem back on the map. I started a Facebook group and we started to put events on in the town. Up until I draw my last breath, I will help to put it back on its feet again. Also hoping to turn things around is Phil Hardy. He opened his beer shop here two years ago. When I first opened here, there was um, a, quite a little community. There was six or seven shops directly opposite me that were all open. Um, but yeah, now I'll look out at um, six empty boarded up shops. I'd definitely love to see it back to how it was. So just how possible is it to turn a town on the decline back into a thriving community? Well, we know just the people to ask. With funding from the local council, Connor Layden has been busy trying to shake off Altrincham's title of Britain's emptiest high street since the one show film there in 2013. And his hard work seems to have paid off. The town has seen a huge renaissance of shops and new businesses open up here with vacancies down by almost 75% since 2010. So can Burslem follow in Altrincham's footsteps? We've invited Phil and June up to Altrincham to see if they can get some ideas to take back to the potteries. We've made a number of changes. Uh, the key thing you can see here is we've dropped the level of the pavements and we've given more space back to the pedestrians. Well, you can see here, this is what it used to be. It's a big change from the picture you can see below where we stood. Lots of trees, green space. What effect does that have on the economy? Vacancy rates have dropped hugely. We also know of over 25 new bars and restaurants have opened since we started the public realm. But June isn't convinced this would work in Burslem. This is in a very prosperous area. We live in a working class area and that's the, that's the difference. If you make the place, yeah. people will come and they'll come from further afield than just the local areas. Burslem is similar in the fact that it's got lovely buildings and that's a real asset and it's about how you can draw people to those areas. Since 2013, Trafford Council have been offering interest-free business loans to shopkeepers. Louise Dare was one of 20 businesses to receive the loan. Louise, how does the actual council loan work? So I apply for 20,000 and I had to match fund at 20,000 as well. And then we had a few months grace. Um, until we had to start paying the loan back. So for me, it was a massive incentive and a massive help. Yeah, I really could have done with that myself. I mean, I know what it was like when I started. You, you're constantly hemorrhaging money. One of the big successes has been the transformation of the town's market hall. When Nick Johnson took it over four years ago, it was facing closure. Today, it's booming. It's absolutely fabulous. I they see it like this. We feed 10,000 people a week now in this space. The reason that this has been the success that it has been is because we have chosen to differentiate. And if every region throughout the country were to start to celebrate their own identity, we would have the ability to reignite regional economies. What would it mean to you, June, to have something like this? Well, I'd, be over the, I'd be over the moon with it. Armed with what they've learned in Altrincham, the next day, June and Phil are back in Burslem to try and convince local councillor Alan Dutton to take on some of their ideas, starting with Burslem's derelict market hall. There was a big difference when we went to the market in Altrincham. They really have transformed it and I would like to see that happen in Burslem. I'd like a multi-purpose venue in there that's open seven days a week for entertainment, for tea dances, for you know various things then I think I think that would work but it's pointless bringing a business on if we haven't got the footfall 
Phil, however, won't be defeated. If I'd have taken that attitude, I wouldn't have opened them oh, right. More businesses will generate more footfall as well. In February, the council was given a £10 million government grant to build more than a thousand new homes in Burslem. And June